Vince Russo said he is the antichrist of professional wrestling. Russo, don't give yourself so much credit. I've got a question for you fans. The ones at home, you here with children. For two years, Russo wrote all kinds of things for the WWF. I have this question. Hey, Russo, did you write in my cousin Owen's death? When Russo was in the WCW. Here it is. Face-to-face oh, -face confrontation. I want to ask you some questions here, champ. Did you kill Owen Hart? I want to ask you some questions, champ. How do you take over the WCW $67 million to the good and get $80 million to the bad? How did you do that? That's genius. That's pure genius. Don't have an answer for that one? Yeah, I got an answer for that one. You're going to give me the microphone? No, no. Breathe no. in my face like a moron. You want it? You got it. You want me to get crazy? I'll get crazy. Sit there apologizing. For what? You're going to have to fight three guys? Three guys trying to kill me? Trying to kill, kill me? me? I'm a gang member, baby. Remember that? All right, I think we've heard enough of this. What's going on here? Why the meeting? Little strategy there, and oh no. So he may bring home the championship belt because we all know how much he deserves it. Please. So the coronation of a new champion can begin tonight. Right, stop the music! Stop the music! Tonight, a very big match with Rocky Maivia. Brett, I'm going to win this one for you. I'm dedicating this match to my loving brother, Brett. He's the dearest thing to all of us. Brett, this one's for you, brother. We love you. What's wrong with these fans? Why are they booing this? That's heartwarming. Indeed. Owen Hart with a penny combination. Owen Hart wins the Intercontinental title. They got it! The world is won. And SummerSlam. The man from the dark side possesses the gold, but this angry hitman is hell bent on reclaiming it. And it will be the World Wrestling Federation champion for a fifth time. SummerSlam. The reigning Intercontinental champion got the one, two, three in the ten-man tag. But the bottom line is a promise this stone cold killer, stone cold killer, this stone cold killer intends to keep. I'll kiss his ass if I can kick it. And that's the way it's gonna be. Stridex presents WWF SummerSlam, Heart and Soul, live Sunday, August 3rd, only on oh. Austin, an opportunist with Owen Hart now. Let's see what Austin can do with him in. No. How about that? A gun break. Austin, oh, no. Austin, oh, save to the Undertaker. Austin, <laughs> right out of his hand. And how much I went in there last night and proved that I am the best there is. Don't waste time. I would just beat him. The best there was. Oh, no. so now, and played it simply the best no, that there ever will be. And I proved it against all odds, against the a man from the dark side, a man that's from the devil, death, and despair. Hey, this one's for you, brother, as far as my love you. Lovable brother Owen. What happened to my brother Owen was nothing but another classic example of American justice. You know, Brett, you can't imagine the rage, the anger, and how mad I really am, because last night, I did a real stupid thing. I showed compassion to Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I beat myself, is what I did. But Austin, in doing that, I left you in the ring a crippled freak. You could barely move, 
And the only reason you beat me was because I had compassion and I beat myself. The fact that you dumped me on my head last night don't mean a damn thing to me. The fact of the matter was, you were too stupid to cover me when you had the chance. Tonight I truly will open up a can of whoop ass and show you exactly what Austin 316 means. And that's the bottom line. Made by the WWF. However, the decision was actually made earlier in the week. Consequently, the WWF dispatched a camera crew deep in the heart of Texas. The hell do you guys want? Uh, and more important than that, how the hell did you find out where I was at? We'd like to get your comments on the suspension. Furthermore, Steve Austin, you are suspended. You want me to comment on my suspension? You don't look like Jim Ross unless you lost about 200 pounds. You don't look like Vincent Mann. If they want some answers, they should have sent someone some authority. Don't be snapping no pictures. I'll take your little lens and shove it. You know what I'm talking about? Like I said, Owen Hart's picture is right there on the old deer's ass, and that's where we're headed. And if he was here in person, I'd put about a dozen arrows right through his ass. There you go, Owen, you piece of Oh, right there in the gizzard, brother. He ain't gonna last long because Stone Cold's on fire. And the bottom line is... Oh, it's pretty brave now that he's got that restraining order I on I got Austin. something to talk to you about that's really bugging me. Now, we all know what kind of a lunatic Stone Cold Steve Austin is, how he's wreaked havoc, how he's run rampant here in the World Wrestling Federation. We all know what he's tried to do to me, try to ruin my life. I'm a family man, a compassionate man. And he's ruining me, my life. He's scaring the hell out of me. And I don't need it. I'm not scared of you, Stone look what he did to you. Austin. Vince McMahon yourself. Look what he's done to you. He gave you a stunner. He gave it to Sergeant Slaughter. He's wreaking havoc in the World Wrestling Federation. And it's up to you to make a decision to get him the hell out of the World Wrestling Federation where he belongs because he's going to destroy it. Don't let him do it, Vince. I know deep in your heart you will make the right decision. And I'd like to end this by saying I can't wait till bad blood because I will leave the Intercontinental Champion and the next night you will make the right decision and get Stone Cold Steve Austin out of the WWF. Sounds to me like Owen Hart's got a case of the limber tail. Right. Pat Keel Center. Welcome everyone to Bad Blood. In your house, we are live from St. Louis, Missouri. Hey, everyone, Vince McMahon. You're live with Jerry the King Lawler. And of course, good old JR. And I would suggest we're going to cut loose from the start, JR. No doubt about it, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a physical, physical matchup. And no better way to kick off Bad Blood here in good old St. Louis. What about it, Eric King? Ladies and gentlemen, we have some tragic news to report. Approximately 5 o'clock Central Time, we here in the World Wrestling Federation were notified that Brian Pillman has passed away. Brian Pillman. Well, I'm just going to say this right off the bat. I want to go on record as saying that you or some of these WWF officials belong in a cell. Here we go now. Pillman being set up for the sacrifice. Belong in a cell. Yourself for forcing Shawn Michaels to be put inside this cell. It is truly going to be hell. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Last night, yesterday afternoon, Brian Pillman was found dead in a hotel room in Bloomington, Minnesota. He had competed the night before. A WWF Kansas City attendance record, 13,245 in the house tonight. You add that to the 21,000 plus last night. We're looking at 35,000 fans attending Stop the WWF the Live and tonight. Allow me to say this. I can't wait, and I hope they really instate Stone Cold Steve Austin back here in the WWF because I can't wait to get my hands on him. Now, I know he tried to cost me my Intercontinental title last night. He tried to get me disqualified, but it backfired. And Stone Cold Steve Austin, I am not scared of you. I'm the Intercontinental Champion. I'm the best. And if you ever want to get back in the ring, don't let some contract or some neck injury hold you back. Come on in here and take your best shot, son. There you go. Before we get down to what I hope 
is going to be the right decision that you make. You're damn right. You better hope it's the right decision, too, or I'll whip your ass. <laughs> I have this release form that can reinstate you immediately if you just sign it. So what I will do is I'll sign your little piece of paper. If you'll sign a piece of paper that says you're going to give me Owen Hart's ass the next opportunity you can give it in an intercontinental title match because I won't have it any other way. I want to beat the living hell out of Owen Hart. But when you drop Steve Austin on his head, when you damn near paralyze Steve Austin, when you take what's taken me eight years to get, I want his ass, but I want my belt back. So if I get that, you damn right, I'll sign my life away. Sign my life away. Sign my life away. You've got my word on it. Stun him. You can put your little hand down in your pocket. Please take those stupid looking glasses off me, man. not going to sign JR. Well, we know how badly Austin wants Owen Hart. He gets him at Survivor Series and it's official. Got a done deal here, I think. It is official. You and Owen Hart in the ring. You're damn right. And I guess that leaves me only one thing left to do. Before you go, just clear up one small detail, if you don't mind. Last week you said it was none of my business. Well, I do, none of your business. Maybe it wasn't. I give a rat's ass All right. If you own the but WWF, what did you? What were you doing at Bad Blood when you interfered in that match with Owen Hart and and with Farouk? What were you doing? See, what happened was Farouk was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I got no problem against him. I got no pr problem with the Nation of Domination. The bottom line is, Steve Austin gets what Steve Austin wants, and I want Owen Hart's ass, I want the Intercontinental title, and I want it real fast. It's my business, and Stone Cold does what he wants, what he wants. Now, you just wait a minute. Let me tell you something, Stone Cold. No, your business is my business. Uh -oh. What you did Whoa. was cross the railroad track. I thought your kind of people knew when you crossed the railroad track, what's over there? Hey, the let me tell you what's over there. There are no white picket fence over there. There are no three-car garages. There are no five-bedroom houses over there. What we do is make a sacrifice for everything we get across the track. And what you did when you caused me the Intercontinental title was sacrifice your ass to me and the nation. It could get ugly. Basically, I didn't understand one damn word you said. Ahmed, please. You know, Steve Austin, up until last week, I respected you. I want his ass. Up until last week, but I want my belt you back. have my respect. So if I get that, you damn right. But last week, my life away. you crossed my end zone. What you did was cross the railroad. Now I can promise you, Steve Austin, I'm going to kick your ass if it's the last thing I do. Yeah, you know all your fans out here? Oh, you see, I don't have to have fans. All my life, 13, 13 years old. Well, we get crazy. I get on my own. I get crazy. Doing my thing. Wait a minute. My own. Raising myself. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, you will backstab me like that. Stop it, guys. If I respect you, everybody go to Today, everybody go to why don't you and I put our gear on? Come out here, punk. And Kane's and standing over Ahmed Johnson. Oh, I said Ahmed Johnson was going to get his ass whipped, oh. and that's exactly what happened. Oh, if anybody wants to see Ahmed Johnson oh, get his ass whipped, give me a hell yeah. I think it's unanimous. When you do what he did to me, you know, well, if it's my last step in life, you can damn well bet he's going to get the shit kicked out of him one way or the other. Here comes that rattlesnake! This belt and myself are going into Canada at the Survivor Series against you, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And believe me, this belt is going to stay where it belongs. Oh, no!
on November 9th. It ain't a wrestling match. It's payback time for Owen Hart. Go over that ring and show us your bad blood. And you're looking up from the mat with your neck broken in half. And believe me, this belt is going to stay in Canada where it belongs. You American people don't deserve to see me a champion of my caliber. At Survivor Series, will anyone be able to stand up in the end? Austin again. Generation X has destroyed the entire Hart family once and for all. But you know, the Hart family, all of them together, are like one big, huge, nasty, smelly, smoking. Stinking turd! Oh, good lord. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. So, Degeneration X thought we would do the fans of the World Wrestling Federation a favor and flush that big, huge turd called the Hart Family down the commode once and for all. But did you ever notice it all goes down but one little, small, chunky little nugget Owen Hart, you, my friend, are that small, little, stinky, stanky nugget. I know you can hear me. I'd like to remind you, Owen, you are still under contract to the World Wrestling Federation. And as such, I'm ordering you to appear in this ring right now. What's this all about? And who do you think you are? Who do I think I am? Who the hell do you think you are? You won't think I owe you a an apology? I don't owe you a thing. I'm sick and tired of trying to please everybody else around here. And the stops right here. Wow. Wow. Well, I'm showing McMahon plenty of respect. This could get very, very ugly in a hurry. Now, my brother, Brett, and Neidhart, and Bulldog, they did what they had to do, and now it's time for me to do what I have to do and that is remain right here in the World Wrestling Federation. And isn't that really what it's all about, Owen? Huh? Isn't that what this whole thing's all about? You attempting to gain the only title that's eluded you in your career here? It's all about the WWF title, isn't it? How stupid are you? Is that what you think this is about? You think I'd give a damn about a worthless title? A piece of leather with tin on it? This is real life, Vince. This is real life. My life. My reputation. My respect. My dignity. You listen to me for a second. You can call me the sole survivor. You can call me the black sheep. I really don't give a s***. Uh-oh. Not good. Obviously, well, Shawn Michaels... This is not a game, this is real life. And you started it, and now it's time for this little nugget to end it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall of TV time remaining, and it is for the World Wrestling Federation Championship. The World Wrestling Federation the heartbreak with Sean Michaels, the generation. 
WWF Champion. Oh, right there. Marcos misses Sweet Chin music. Owen Hart for the instant Fury. Yes, it's over. Yes, it's over. Sharp Tudor. Sharp Tudor. He's got it. It's over. Oh, no. they save Michaels again. they save Michaels again. Well, Hunter, this is getting personal. And it's getting real ugly. But lucky for you, I have some compassion in this black heart. And I want every little ligament, every little tendon, every little bone in that right knee to heal up. And when it's all 100% and everything's okay, then I'm gonna break the left one because I have a black heart and black hearts feel no pain. <laughs> oh, you're right, you're a pain, all right. I'd hate to tell you where. Owen, I've got a little advice for you, buddy. Watch your back because Degeneration X is bigger than all of us. You gotta wonder, is that some kind of veiled threat coming out of Triple H? Is perhaps Owen Hart now next on the list? Owen Hart, tonight Triple H has decided if you stick your nose in our business one more time, it's gonna be the last. Generation X right now. John Michaels with a major announcement regarding the Undertaker's family. Oh, and we still don't know the condition of Owen Hart. This is concerning Kane. Look at this, look at this. Never mind Shawn Michaels about Kane's family or the Undertaker's family. I know all about family. And you three degenerates, you thought you could put me down with what you did? I'm a survivor. And I said before, I'm going to make your life hell. Now, rumor has it that tonight at the live Royal Rumble drawing, Many of the superstars have uh, made you a marked man. Stone Cold Steve Austin ain't a hard person to find, but if you're having a hard time, let me give you a little target. Owen Hart last night of the Royal Rumble, I proved to the world that you're nothing but a loser. You can't cut it at the big dance, my friend. Maybe you better pack your bags and head on south too because you can't cut it here. Ah! And I'm proving it once and for all. Owen Hart, I've got a little something to say to you. You wanted the best, Owen? You got it. Tonight, you're gonna see Triple H like you've never seen him before. And Owen, I might not be 100%, but <clears throat> even at 50%, I am more man than you could ever hope to be. I hope, I hope you Triple H has got some clothes on now. So Owen, Mr. Hanky, tonight I'm gonna flush the toilet one last time and send you down that magic little sewer ride to that cesspool in the south. I think to the world that you're nothing but a loser. Oh, wait a minute. You're gonna see Triple H like you've never seen him before. Are you sure? Oh yeah, I'm sure. What a cheap shot! And now Hunter Dust is going for the pedigree. No, but it's so Owen, Mr. Hanky. Tonight I'm gonna flush the toilet one last time. It's a sharpshooter. Come on, it's over. It's over. Not only am I awarding Owen Hart. The match here tonight and a victory against you, Hunter Hearst Helmsley. But I have also awarded him the new European Heavyweight what? Champion. Wait a minute. No way. No way. No way. He, can't, no he can't do that. What a, what a blockbuster. What? Come on, wait a minute. This was just a joke. We're live, ladies and gentlemen, back here on WWF Raw. Attempted to get an interview here momentarily with the Road Dog in. Uh, Billy Gunn. Here's uh, what transpired. Cactus Jack again dropping the elbow into the dumpster on the Chainsaw Charlie and then the New Age Outlaws shoving the dumpster with Cactus and the Chainsaw in it over the edge. 
And look at the reaction. This is what I find extremely most distasteful. As a matter of fact, the uh, WWF Tag Team Champions are, are here. Gentlemen, I'm, what are you thinking? I mean, are you guys just careless? I know you're not stupid. Are you that desperate to get over to, to be big stars? What are you thinking? Well, JR, you know, we don't have a whole lot of opportunity in this business to get over. So maybe you do, when you see a target of opportunity, maybe you attack it. Maybe we went too far. They've got maybe families. Maybe we did, JR. They've got families. Well, I got family too, and you think I don't understand that? Hey, hey, hey. I got news to you guys. Every week, we're asked to go out there and outdo ourselves. Every week, we're asked to go out there and take greater oh risk. Push the envelope, raise the bar, get those ratings. I got news for you. That's exactly, hey, that's exactly what the Generation X does. But I know the hey. question, hey, where does it end? Where does it end? Hey, Ross, you tell us. Where does it all end? Why don't you ask your boss, Vince McMahon? Maybe the fans can tell us. If it wasn't them, it would have been you that's guys. Right. That's right. It would have been you guys. Smart you might as go ahead, but you guys got to smarten up. Smart up. Suck it up, You're getting two. ratings. You're getting ratings, and that's what matters. And it goes that's like all this. you need to think about. Think about yourselves. Get those ratings. Push the bar. This push is the, the WWF. Ball. Push it higher. Push it higher. You guys better suck it up, because remember this. The show goes on. It always it goes on. Ready? You want some ratings? You want to push the envelope? You want to raise the bar? Who oh, hears the ratings clip? Here you go. You guys want to raise the bar? In memory of our fallen comrades, let's take this time to reenact the that air disaster. Look out below. Flight 666. Six, six. They better refine their stand up act. Two human beings. Should we move? They may have neck injuries. We shouldn't. They got a okay, couple of crash see, dummies in there. Do you know CPR? They're dressed like. I know some of it. Do you? I know some too. Okay. I know, I'll do the oh, compression. Yeah. Okay. And you do the mouth to mouth. Okay. Uh, They're dressed I'm like Chainsaw and Cactus Jack. <laughs> Damn it, son. We're their only hope. Come on. I know I'll do it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, three. Three. That look familiar to you, JR? It's hideous. It's hideous. Wait till Sunday. Wait till Sunday in Houston. Boy, what a way to start. No way out of Texas. Let's take one more look at Sable finally just exploding on the on Marvelous. This has got to be the ultimate embarrassment for Mark Merrill. Getting shoved down by your woman. Everyone, the world wants to know how you're going to coexist with Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're on the same team. Well, first of all, I could really give a damn who they pick for their partner. It really doesn't matter to me. And as for you, Stone Cold Steve Austin, you stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of your way, and there won't be a problem. But as for you, Hunter Hearst Helmsley, there will be a problem. Because just because I have the European title, it doesn't mean that I'm done with you. When I get in the ring, I am going to bust your legs. The European champion, Owen Hart. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be joined in commentary here at ringside by the reigning European champion, Owen Hart. You see he has that air cast on his uh, right ankle. I want to show you what happened last week. Owen Hart meeting Barry Windham. And watch Owen Hart's right ankle here. This is in real time. Oh, but watch it over here at ringside. So is this what it's come down to? First you come out here, you take my European title, and then you hide behind a little commentator's desk. Are you really a man? Because a man wouldn't run. What a man would do is accept a challenge. Owen Hart, I'm challenging you. Get your little butt in this ring, put your European title on the line, and let me kick it right here tonight. See, Helms, that's the kind of guy you are. You come here and challenge me when you know my ankles in a cast. That's the kind of gutless coward you are, just you like when you hit crap, behind Owen, your mask. There's nothing wrong with your leg. You know it. I know it. What's it going to be, Owen? You're going to take the challenge and prove to the world you're a loser? Or you're going to sit back there and show the world that you're a coward, that you're exactly what I'm saying you are?
that you're nothing, that you're nothing but a punk. You know what helps you? 12 exactly. days, 12 days, exactly. I'll kick your ass. You're not gonna Whether fight, you know what? You're not. I'll kick your ass because I didn't hide behind some mask and have you know, hundred of my friends in You know why? I want this to come up. Hey, hey, hey. Especially your ladies. So, ladies, I brought a little surprise for your state bird. Isn't that Frankie? Isn't that Coco's bird? It is. Enough is enough, and it's time for a change. Wait a minute. There's, there's Owen Hart. I think we've heard about enough of you. You and I have a little unfinished business to settle. You think you and I got some unfinished business? Pal, you want a piece of me? I'm right here waiting. Well, I'm coming down to kick your ass. Well, Owen Hart from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I'll tell you what, he's got some guts. He's got those up. His adrenaline obviously is flowing, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, I thought he was too smart. The rock is cooking. Here comes the nation, led by the rock. Well, folks, I don't have a damn clue what's going to happen next. We're either going to see Owen Hart meets Triple H at least, and maybe more. One way or the other, DX and the nation going to get it on. You mess with us, it's not... Know your role, it's shut your hole. <laughs> you smell what the rock is cooking? Well, well, well. Business just know might be about ready to pick up down. Age Outlaw. Shoving the dumpster with cactus and the chainsaw in it over the edge. Oh, 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 Owen Hart. This is bad. This is bad. Screaming for some medical help, and you have to be very, very careful, as we all know, these neck injuries. You know what you need? One of those things. Uh, cervical collars. Cervical collars. That's it. Well, we remember last week on Raw, we saw exactly something very similar to this take place. We saw Farouk deliver a pile driver on the rock up on that stage. Right, what is Farouk trying to do? This has got to stop. 
I, I think Farouk probably realizes he can't win the Intercontinental title, so he's doing anything that he can. That's why you're the champion. You wouldn't have had a heartbeat. That's right. That's right. You are me and you are vicious. You are ratings, Billy. You're lucky, Owen. Those guys That's make me sick. Happen, Owen is hurt. We are about to uh, see the debut of Edge, and we are back here in the Frank Irwin Center. Edge on his way to the ring. All we know about this young man is that we are told he is some sort of tortured soul. I know he's 6'4", got on the edge of exploding at any time, and drop kick on the outside. Watch it. And look at this great move. Oh, Big service all over the top. And the edge with tremendous force. He nailed a Jose, and... And Jose Estrada's not moving very much here, King. I think Jose is out. Jose Estrada hasn't moved here from taking that blow from Edge. And a referee, Tim White, has got a 10 count to work with. And that's all of it. Edge will win his first match. I'm sure not the way he wanted, but he's a winner, needless to say. Well, ordinarily on that move, look, look at the edge. He's over the edge. Ordinarily on that move, your legs would straddle your opponent's head, but if I saw it right, it looked like the edge landed square on top of Jose's head. Trying to, try to take another look at it here. Edge has a... Uh, it looks like he's got movement in his head. very non auspicious day. Oh, look at this. Obviously back in Kane's locker room. What we do is make a sacrifice for everything we do. You knew this was going to happen. And what is the Undertaker thinking when he did it? He knew that Kane was going to see that. Now the Undertaker is going to have to face the wrath of Kane, too. Look at this. Kane, it'll be okay. We are back here on the War Zone. Uh, Jose Estrada being. Take it to an ambulance, King. Boy, that's the grim reality that your career can end in a split second every time you step into that ring. And, that and the people are standing up. Look at this. When it comes to the croc and the ladies, and the croc hits rock bottom. A little stinky night. He has no choice but to lay that smack down on himself. <laughs> you hear that? The brother smacks himself down. Oh, look at me go. Oh, man. <laughs> Can you imagine the rock? He's broken every piece of furniture in his living room right now. Hey, wait a minute. Look at this guy. Is that his nose or did he park a bus on his face? Supposed to be Owen Hart. Well, enough is enough, and it's time for a change. Listen to that. It is Owen Hart. Did you hear that So voice? what? Nobody listens to me. Nobody gives a damn what I think. And what the hell am I doing wearing this ridiculous outfit? I look like a damn road sign! Now you just wait a minute. Let me tell you something, Stone Cold. What the hell am I? A school crossing? What you did was cross the railroad tracks. You, you know, I tried to be a tough guy, but I just couldn't grow my damn beard in. <laughs> and you know what? I am not a nugget. I'm a black heart, damn it! A winner, a soul survivor! Woo! <laughs> Things are not well in Calgary tonight. It is Owen Hart. That's a call for. He's a 20-year-old kid. He's a fan. That's all he is. He's having some fun. We are about to uh, take you to Calgary. Our cameras are standing by, and certainly the, the basement in the Hart family home has been called the dungeon for many years in this business. Oh, wait a minute. We're, we're, we're there. We're there. Here we go. Uh oh, this thing getting ready to start, isn't it? We are ready to start. Good timing here. This is a submission. Gosh. This is a submission match, and obviously Shamrock is ready to go. Dan Severin, the Beast, is the referee here, and uh, that's got to think will be fair because well, Owen Hart doesn't like the Beast, and we know that Shamrock despises Severn. Uh oh, here we go. You Tapped just out into the hit. oh, oh, that kick caught so. Shamrock's kick caught Dan Severn. Look at the light. Oh, the dumbbell. Shamrock has been knocked out. And look, Severn, look. It's over. Oh, Owen Hart's making. That was Owen Hart that did that. Shamrock is unconscious. 
I rule in the dungeon. I did it all by myself. Owen Hart has just defeated Ken Shamrock. The fact of the matter is this, dead man, mwah, rest in peace, you bonafide piece of trash, and you, Stone Cold Steve Austin, tonight you're gonna hit rock bottom if you smell what The Rock is cooking, because hell, you're looking at the next tag team champs. That's right, Undertaker and Stone Cold Steve Austin, after we beat you guys for the WWF tag team belts, then we're gonna find out who you losers call the nugget. All four of these men deeply involved at SummerSlam. Certainly the next great pay-per-view investment will be on Sunday, May, August the 30th. Certainly the next great pay-per-view investment will be on Sunday, May, August the 30th. Sunday, May, August the 30th. Sunday, May, August the 30th. On Sunday, May, August the 30th. And I truly believe it will be the most talked about, the most eagerly anticipated SummerSlam that we've ever brought to you, folks. It's the highway to hell, JR. That's where The Undertaker uh -oh. and Stone Cold are gonna meet. Austin may be fading here. Referee Tim White. Owen Hart, you're stepping into my world now. The Lion's Den match. And when I get done with you, they better bring two body bags. One for you, and one for Dan Severn. Because I'm going to finish what I didn't get to finish Monday night. I'm going to add some fuel to the Lion's Den fire. <laughs> Something's going to be settled in that nine-foot pit. Oh, there it is! There it is, King! It got him! gonna try to choke out Shamrock. Shamrock! Shamrock walked the cage! Fuji on the one bar! And to the ankle lock! The ankle lock! Severn is calling for you! Severn is gonna throw the towel in! Severn's taking a walk! Owen Hart's tapping out! Cigars dipped in a little brandy. But you know something? The president, like myself, like our cigars dipped in a little French liqueur. <laughs> you know, Dustin. La Whiskey. <laughs> I hope you get a good night's sleep tonight. Burn in hell. It's time for a Dustin's in the ring. I guess. I guess Dustin's had enough. Well, did you see that? He waited. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Toronto, Ontario. I don't Where think he's placed the caliber of competition. It's Owen Hart. His opponent, representing the nation from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 247 pounds. I'm trying to be a nice guy. Owen Hart. Owen Hart, who's 
Segna. Looks like security down here. Looks like it. Oh, Owen Hart's got it rolled up. Yeah. Owen Hart gets the three. Couldn't take his eyes off that person. Weighing in at 251 pounds, and the beast, Severn. Great ovation for the hometown boys, son of Steve Dan Severn. And folks, we're gonna we're gonna try, try to get to work with uh, Michael Cole here. Matter of fact, Michael Cole is standing by. There's some of the Red Wings. Michael Cole standing by with a quick update for us, folks, on this DX controversy. Michael. Well, folks, we are outside D-Generation X's locker room. Something is going on inside the locker room. As you can hear, a fragrance, a ruckus of some sorts. Now, folks, even in the tightest of families, there is always an argument or two. And if we have any information later on in the evening, we'll try to bring it to you. Back to ringside. We might have heard more. Oh, Severn looking for that, that submission move. Look out, Owen! And Owen Hart better figure something out here quickly, and he does. A gut wrench upside down. Uh oh, oh, oh my God! Severn's head exposed. Beautiful. Severn just got dropped right on his head from the that pile driver. Never not moving. It's supposed to be a recreation of what happened with Stone Cold. Hey guys, Dan Severn's not moving. And that, that uh, the there'd be an injury angle, and that I would be taken out of the ring on a uh, a backboard. He's telling the referee that he can't move his arm. By EMTs. So that was already put into place. But the reality was, he did drop me right on my head. Ironically, Stone Cold Steve Austin called me up. He says, he says, Owen Hart, he thinks that Owen Hart fucked up. He goes, and, and he goes, he literally dropped you on your head. He should not have sit down on his butt. He should drop down to his knees. And I go, yeah, he, he, he did. He did, he did incorrectly. Cut right off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It's going to be Edge. Meeting Owen Hart here one-on-one, -on -one, and certainly this is one of the most exciting young WWF superstars is Edge to come along in a long, long time. Enough is enough, and it's time for a change. Well, I'll tell you one thing, folks, in the last seven days, I don't think you can probably have more stress, more trauma. Wait a minute, Owen Hart's not dressed to wrestle. Owen Hart's scheduled to wrestle here. What's this kid going to say? Does anybody want me? I'm right here. I've been in the wrestling business for 13 years now. You want it? You got it. And the wrestling business you know crazy? has been my whole life. I'm crazy. But last week, after I did what I did to Dan Sever, you didn't apologize for what? And I looked into his eyes. You got to fight three guys. I saw my wife and my two children. You guys kill me. Don't be snapping no pictures. I'll take your little lens and shove it. You know what I'm talking about? I never really meant for anyone to ever get hurt. I'm a gang member, baby. Remember that? All right, I think we've had enough of this. And I am so sorry for what I did. What's going on here? Can you ain't bring home the championship belt because we all know how much he deserves it. What is this, JR? Is this is real life. Well, is he going soft? Obviously, this Owen Hart is, is too life. upset to compete here tonight. My Come life. on, too upset. What happened to the Owen Hart I used to know? The Owen Hart of old who didn't, didn't care who he hurt, didn't care what happened to his opponents. He's going soft on us. Well, maybe he's just proving he's got a conscience. Three one coming on Brian What's he want to be, here another here Canadian now. hero or something? Set up for the it the was. Get back here and fight. Well, apparently, Edge is going to get the victory here via forfeit. And Blackman's got to tap out. Yeah. Blackman with the injured knee yeah. went as long as he could before Shamrock caught him. Wait a minute. Who the hell is that? What is this? Is, is that? That looks like... That looks like the Blue Blazer. To me, I think that... Or something. 
Couldn't beat the blue blazer. The blue blazer again. And ain't Captain America. The blue blazer has attacked Scorpio from behind. The blue blazer. Oh! That's Owen Hart. That's got to be Owen Hart. Right on the Malmoski. Ladies and gentlemen, Hart. Owen Hart. Quest of Dan Severn. That's right. Now, although I apologized to Dan Severn a long time ago, but last week, I can never say sorry enough for what I did. It was a total accident. I'm not here. And I never meant for it to happen. For an apology from you. But I did the honorable thing. What would it mean anyway? I retired. You know, you say that you're sorry for hurting me and that you've retired. But who are you kidding? by running around in that ridiculous blue blazer outfit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Owen, I came here to look into the eyes of the man that stole my livelihood. Look at me, Owen. I came here to tell you in front of all these people that you are nothing but scum. Oh. Hey, come on, God Almighty! The, no, 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 no! Come on! Stop! There's Steve Blackman! But, oh my God, Severn is not healed, but Severn had no business coming out here in the condition he was in. And Nothing. then, and then, uh, what? Sam, what is that? Wait a minute. Severn, Severn attacking Owen Hart. Severn attacking Owen Hart. Look at this! What the hell? That's a blue blazer! I told you! I told you that was no one hard! Look at this! The blue blazer! Oh, man! Oh, hard! Well, what a way to start! No way out of Texas! Everyone, the world wants to know how you're going to coexist with Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're on the same team. Austin, you'd like it if I retired, wouldn't you? You'd really like that. You'd like it if I retired, Austin. And as for you, Stone Cold Steve Austin, I did the honorable thing. You stay out of my way. I retired. And I'll stay out of your I way. I am no longer on a WWF roster. And all of you, you would all like it if Vince McMahon sort of faded away, sort of disappeared. It ain't a wrestling match. I think it's unanimous. It's time for it hard. Some of you would even like it if I died. Payback's a hell, son. Oh and that's the damnedest bottom line I ever bottom line. I got a little message for you, punk, from Mr. McMahon himself. He's the judge, he's your jury, and in November the 15th, Survivor Series at Deadly Games, me and you, we gonna play, but you're gonna pay, you dumbass. That's this Sunday, folks. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Vince McMahon said this. Vince McMahon says that. If you're scared, take your ass back to the dressing room. November 15, punk! Oh, I don't give a damn what Vince McMahon says. Stone Cold Steve Austin says, I'll beat your ass for free. And that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold said so. Like, like be careful, don't move! Don't move! Don't move. They were mad that they should have sent someone to the door. Don't touch me. Snapping no pictures. I'll take it in the hands and shut it. I'm talking about. What? God Almighty. Good God. Oh my God. Good God. He fell. Folks, uh, tragedy has struck here on the uh, war zone. Moments ago, Draws uh, trying to. Uh, the blue blazer. He's mad. Wait a minute. That's all. Leg of Blackman. So who in the hell is the blazer? Can't believe it. Well, folks, yesterday tragedy befell, tragedy befell. the Rattlesnake Stone Cold Steve Austin. After uh, competing in a match in the San Jose Arena, Austin was was up on the on the ring ropes. Here you see it. This was yesterday. And again, Austin had been suffering from dizziness, and right there he, he lost his balance. Right there, he suffered from dizziness. He blacked out. Steve Blackman, since Owen Hart came out of retirement, we all thought we had seen the last of the Blue Blazer. But surprisingly, the Blue Blazer is in action next. Now, I would imagine you've got at least a vested interest in that contest. Owen, you ran from me yesterday, and now you're hiding under that mask. And I can't believe you're keeping up with this facade. 
I will unmask the Blue Blazer tonight and prove to everyone once and for all that it is you, that filthy little nugget. Michael, I can't believe it. Oh, Steve Blackman. The Blazer is Owen Hart. What? There you go, King. Mr. Know It All. I can't believe it. Mr. Know It All, King. I told you it was Owen Hart. I've been telling you now for weeks. He, he sent Livingston packing. You think the secret about draws is going to do the, do the same thing? Well. Gonna be good. It's time to let the cat out of the bag. The dark, deep little secret of, of Draws and mine. Sure, no. oh. You see, Draws, he's the pusher man. Oh. What? He's the enabler. Pusher I man. don't have to cover for you anymore, Draws, because I'm clean. Uh -oh. I've been that way for some time. Oh, you are the dope pusher, and I was the dope. Dope pusher. And nobody regrets it more than me. And his opponent. He so Steve Blackman set to do battle with the Blue Blazer. And my, my question is this, Jerry. Uh, why in the world would no one hard just take on Blackman one on one? Why is he going to have to wear that silly mask again this week? Because I think there's a little confusion. Hey. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at this. I think I've proven beyond a reasonable doubt that I am not the Blue Blazer. Steve Blackman, you're a liar. As I said before, though. Then who's the. There is a little bit of the Blue Blazer in each and every one of us, and that includes you, too, Steve Blackman. No. Blackman's going to make it two for two. Get in there. He's got the Blazer mask. It is going. Look at that. Locked on the sharpshooter, and what's Blackman gonna do? Yeah, let's hear you call him a nugget now. I never call him a nugget, he's a great athlete. Hey, look out! What's this? It, it's Dan Severin! What? The man who Owen Hart injured not once but twice. Look at Owen Severin! I'm sorry hey. about your neck. Come on, get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Severin's taking a great day. Look at this. Jeff Jarrett. Putting Debra in front of Dan Severin. Oh, now let's see what Severin wants. Wait, wait a minute! Black is stuck up behind Owen Hart and picked up the victory! Here are your winners, Steve Blackman and Cool! So Dan Severin cost Owen Hart the match by distracting Owen! What the hell? Jeff Jarrett. Welcome back to Sunday Night Heat, everybody, live from the Freeman Coliseum, San Antonio, Texas. A McMahon guarantee of hard time for Triple H, as well as a look at the new WWF champion Mankind later on in the hour. But right now, it's Lion's Den match time. Dan Severn is the special referee. The reason the Beast is the referee is because a long, simmering yeah, rivalry with Owen Hart. Hard. He Not cannot wait to see Steve God. Blackman exact revenge on the man who has put him in it. Hey, oh, he's got the sharpshooter on. Blackman, that's it. Gotta get, you got to get your opponent out of the center of the ring. Oh, what the? Severn has just left down from the top. Blackman, who knows, man? You see, you see Blackman's head ran right into that pole. I mean, it was hard. What is Severin doing? Dizziness and right there. The neck breaks. He's got that dragon sleeper. That's it. Snap, crackle, pop. I thought Blackman was his friend. It's Owen Hardy should be going after. And as for you, Stone Cold Steve Austin, you stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of your way, and there won't be a problem. But as for you, Hunter Hearst Helmsley, there will be a problem. The last thing Steve Blackman would have expected is to be attacked by Dan the Beast Severn. We are live, ladies and gentlemen, here in Houston at the uh, Compact Center. Ordinarily on that move, but look at the edge. He's over the edge. If the Outlaws can keep Deborah out of their sights, they'll win this one. What did Billy Gunn say to Deborah? Wait a minute. Jeff Jarrett outside the ring just whispered something in Deborah's ear. What's she doing? Look at this. Deborah in China. What? What is she? Deborah trying to distract China. Meanwhile, in the ring, Owen Hart, blindsided Road Dog, took advantage. Oh. Look at it, just shot Deborah down. Pedigree 
time. Uh oh. Pedigree. Hooks the leg. It's over. Triple H. As quick as that. Picks up the win. Hey, it's, it's the brood. Wait a minute. Lights are out. Oh my God. Road dog. The hardcore champion. The latest victim. Of the Brood's bloodbath. Echo lock on Owen. The echo lock. And Jeff Jarrett quickly into the ring. And Boss Man retaliates. Look out. And there goes Jarrett right out in front of us. It was that ankle. Hell! That, 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 blue that, that's a blue blazer. With the guitar. Look at that. He nailed Shamrock. Boss Man, look at that. Boss Man, look. Look. Cover. The referee out of position. Shamrock's out cold. Look at the ring, boss man! We have new tag team champions! Owen Hart and Jeff Jarrett have won the tag team titles! I can't, I can't believe it! Worthless title! Jeff Jarrett! The Blue Blazers back! But, but he didn't look anything like Owen Hart or Jeff Jarrett! I mean, it was a black and blue blazer, that was a black man! You see all the wrestling fans all over the world! It's you know, rockin' Coco, we love that high energy music. We love how you move and groove. We love all the energy. That's what high energy is all about. And rockin', we can't stop because we're headed to the top. That's right, high energy. I can feel the spunk between us. Yeah. The electricity burn that way. How do you let him do that to you? Absolutely not. You're gonna annihilate him. You're gonna take Triple H out just like you did Gilbert. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna kill him, Shane. Not me. I'm gonna kill him. Triple H, Triple H, stay focused. Stay focused. We're back on okay, Sunday right. Night Heat, and China, her, the intensity in her words, she just snatched oh, Shane McMahon no, no, no. and shoved him against oh, the brick wall oh, oh, as Zebra leads the Tag Team Champions down to the ring. Could that skirt be any shorter? And look at those legs. So, well, Owen, certainly, uh, I guess Debra and her fashion is up for everybody's enjoyment here. Counter by Owen into the sharpshooter. He rolled it over. Edge is the legal man. Referee Tim Look at that! Wait a minute! Tell us a little bit about model 69. Owen Hart, Jeff Jarrett from last week. Look, look what's happening here. Everybody's putting into public enemy. The brood in. Oh, wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. What? Look at Debra. What? Debra got a bloodbath. Oh, my God. Debra's suffering a bloodbath in the hands of the brood. Why don't you tell us a little bit about model 69? Well, the brood just gave Debra a bloodbath. in there, hammering away at, at Jeff Jarrett, tag team titles on, hey wait a minute, there's all, there comes a brood, there comes a ministry, uh oh, it's Matt, Vipsera, and Vidian, the brood, the Aquilites, oh, I think that business just might pick up right here, right now, Jeff and Owen can't do anything, Debra, Debra, oh. you have to understand me. This is not my fault. Listen, boy. You see, McMahon has left me no other choice. To your father. He left with Stephanie. And now, you are going to have to do Asking Shane McMahon. You see, McMahon. That, that envelope. Push the envelope. How many Raise the bar. of the innocent. Get those ratings. I got news for you. We'll have to suffer. How many souls will I have to take before she's mine? This is not right. Well, The and Rock smells Sarah. trash. Oh, look at this. this. Uh -oh. Look what we got going on here. Biggest piece of Texas trailer park trash. Walk in God's green earth. You want some pressure felt? Well, there it is. Will you bring your candy ass? Here we go. Here we go now. The piss light is on. We're right here outside. The Rock and the, the Rattlesnake. 
since we've seen you here in the WWF. Uh, to what do we owe the honor? Well, Kevin, it's quite simple. The Blue Blazer is back in the WWF because the WWF needs the Blue Blazer back. Needed for what, Owen? Owen? I'm not Owen. Where is Owen? I'm looking for Owen Hart, too. Where is he? Anyway, the conditions here in the WWF have become deplorable. There's, there's too much... cleavage and that, that, that bow... I can't even say his last name, but you know what it rhymes with. I can't even say it. But he's deplorable. Everything is deplorable here in the WWF. But why you? Why me? Because the WWF kidding? needs a superhero like the Blue Blazer. In that ridiculous Blue Blazer outfit. And one last thing in closing. To all my little Blue Blazers, take your vitamins, say your prayers, and drink your milk. Uh, let's take you now to an interview conducted earlier tonight uh, with uh, Rock. At Over the Edge, you are in my hands. Your fate is in my hands. Oh, my God! The Rock fell to the floor. The Rock fell to the concrete off the stage. It's got to be 10, 12 feet. The Rock is there. You are in my hands. Your fate is in my hands. I can see the fire in Triple H's eyes, and I've never seen it that intense before. Triple H, not only did you break the people's arm. Nice hang time on the drop, Rock. And over the edge, you are in my hands. Your fate is in my hands. Rock, after all of the physical things that have happened to you over the past few weeks, a lot of people, a lot of your fans included, think you have no business going into the ring. Shut up, Jabroni. The Rock... Rock, or should I say, croc? Shut up, Jabroni. Because that's what you are, the a croc, a big farce. The rock. The ro and over the edge, you are in my hands. Your fate the is in my hands. What you did was cross the railroad You know, these people, when you people the call you that? the people's champ. Rock, after all of the physical things that have happened to you over the past few weeks, a lot of people, a lot of your well, fans included, think you have you no business going into the ring. Shut up, Jabroni. The Rock. Oh, well, what the do you want? The way you worship this piece I of crap. Either one you Why? Because he can raise an eyebrow <laughs> and drop a little elbow. Well, Blue Blazer, you got a big match tonight. Going after the Intercontinental Championship, taking on The Godfather. Ooh, The Godfather. Just saying his name makes my blue blood boil. Ooh, the Godfather. My arch nemesis. He represents everything that's wrong with the WWF. But fear not, because I, the Blue Blazer, will always triumph over evildoers. And you know why? Because I always take my vitamins, say my prayers, and drink my milk. Ladies and gentlemen, when you're doing live television, uh, a lot of uh, things can happen, and, and sometimes uh, they are not good. Uh, the Blue Blazer, as we know, as Owen Hart was going to make a very spectacular superhero-like entrance from the Raptors, and something went terribly wrong here. Uh, certainly, uh, Owen Hart, Blue Blazer, very serious situation here at this point in time, being attended to by the by the uh, the EMTs. Uh, this is not. Uh, a part of the uh, entertainment here tonight. We are as this is as real uh, as here. It real can be here. Cigars. And uh, the EMTs are tending to Owen in the oh, ring now. Owen Hart and we are right again uh, we are at a little bit of a loss in this situation. I've been doing this for uh, uh, more years than I uh, would like to to admit. And this uh, is the well, it's one of the most shocking things I've ever seen. This is not a, a your typical wrestling uh, storyline. This is a real situation. Owen Hart was to 
ascend oh, no. in a superhero-like entrance right, from the ceiling of this arena. And something terribly, Here terribly went wrong. I don't know if the harness broke or what the malfunction well, was. No pictures. I'll take it on the lens and shove it. And you know uh, about? we are going to keep our cameras uh, on this crowd at this point in time. I hope that you can understand that this was not, I repeat, this was not uh, a wrestling angle. This was not uh, a store, part of the storyline. Uh, this was uh, a is, terribly, Shoot. terribly um, tragic situation. Jerry Lawler back joining me here. King, I was just reiterating the fans. This is not a part of the show. Uh, we're here to entertain and have fun, but this is neither. No, it's, uh, it's, it doesn't look good at all. But above and beyond that, I won't own it. And folks, uh, again, there's so many things going right on. Straight and simple. We will keep you updated on this situation. This is real life, and our next tag team match, this by is the way, is coming life. up next. We will tell you that. And, uh, Kevin Kelly, we do understand, is standing by. Let's take you now to Kevin Kelly, who I think is with uh, Jeff Jarrett and Deborah. Jeff and Deborah, I know your mind's probably on other things right now, but the question, of course, is, uh, you know, how are things going to go in this mixed tag team match uh, tonight? Well, if you want to talk about chances, I tell you one thing. My daddy should tell me one thing about chances. And here at uh, in Kansas City, uh, tragedy befell the World Wrestling Federation and all of us. Owen Hart was uh, set to make an entrance from the ceiling, and uh, he fell from the ceiling. And I have the unfortunate responsibility to let everyone know that Owen Hart has died. Owen Hart has tragically died from that accident here tonight. You know, that night if you at the Kansas uh, City, Owen, so we go back to the hotel. Owen, uh, love you. And I can remember Road Dog sitting across from me on a twin bed, you know, with the phone, the little phone stands right between, and we were basically knee to knee. What and him getting on the phone with my wife and him telling her, yeah, he's good. He's good. We're good. I got to chuckle at myself, but <laughs> you think about me and Brian James trying to uh, console one another. What a train wreck that is. <laughs> so maybe you do, when you see a target of opportunity, maybe you attack it. Maybe we went too far. They've got maybe families. we did, JR. They've got family. Well, I got family too, and you think I don't understand that? Hey. Where were you when you found out about Owen? I was actually on a plane flying to do the Jay Leno show. What about the stunt itself? Owen did not want to do that stunt. In fact, he told his wife he was not going to do it. He left the house saying he wouldn't, would, definitely would not do it. Pushing the envelope has been one of the key factors to the recent success of professional wrestling. And on Sunday night, it seems pushing the envelope played a significant role in the tragic death of Owen Hart. You want to push the envelope? You want to raise the bar? Oh, here's your ratings clip. For me, um, you know, my whole life was tied in with wrestling and the death was tied in with wrestling. The youngest member of the legendary Canadian wrestling family was killed. Which is sort of why I came back in, in the last year to, to WCW and tried to sort of write one more chapter rather than always be remembered as the brother of the guy that got killed in the ring. The youngest member of the legendary Canadian wrestling family was killed when a stunt went horribly wrong. This is a stunt that's performed on a routine basis. And I speak as well or best for all when I say that Poland would not have wanted the show to go on. Get those rings, push the bar, this push is WWE. Push it higher, push it higher. You guys better suck it up. Because remember this, the show goes on. It always goes on. It's a tragic accident. Don't try and put yourself in the spotlight here, okay? And after Mr. Hart's body was carried from the ring last night, the show went on. This good man made promises to me, made promises to my family that unfortunately certain ones accepted and uh, I think you know, sold out their, their, our dead brother kind of thing. He's seen it. He, he was... Owen Hart, the blue he, blazer. Wanted, hold on, let me talk. Sold out their, their, our dead brother kind of thing. He was coming down on a cord, and all of a sudden it snapped, and he dropped. 
and they're pumping his chest. I think everybody was trying to figure out whether it was part of the act or not. All the TV viewers could see was the aftermath, not the stunt. A grand entrance by champion wrestler Blue Blazer, flying into the ring from five stories above the Kemper Arena floor crashing into a padded piece of metal that holds the ring together. He hit, ended up hitting his face onto the turnbuckle and did a flip and ended up landing on his back. The man behind the blue blazer mask is Canadian Owen Hart, known for his acrobatics in the ring, vaulting off ropes, pretending to fly. But this time, something new. From 50 feet up, he was supposed to swing down on a cable, but witnesses say it was a free fall. Kansas City police say they are interviewing the show's producers about what went wrong. And the World Wrestling Federation, WWF, is not commenting. But the man who runs the building where the accident occurred says it looked like Hart fell before his cue. He came down very quickly, and, and that's what caught my eye. When Owen was fought, shit. When Owen was falling... Everybody that was there said the last thing that he yelled was, look out. Are you still uh, in any communication with the family at all? So, uh, n- n- not day, no. It, uh, the last time, it was 2018. Um, and this is sort of when I look back on how everything ends up being weaved together. So, out of all the weeks... And, you know, Martha, uh, PhD, uh, and, and just to, you know, and I, you're wanting to end the episode. Maybe we've gone too long, but to, to, to leave it. On, no, no, let, let me, we've not gone too long. I just want to do him justice. Yeah. I, I, I'll be honest. I, I've got a bunch more notes, but I don't know a better way to end it than Owen is forever. Mm. But if you've got more that you want to share and sort of open up your heart and your testimony, I'm here to listen, man. No, I, I just it, it, again, I, I'll, I'll say that that um, I've been asked about that promo on Raw the following night, and here's sort of a cool thing out of it: that Martha sent my kids a Christmas box of goodies every year for gosh, I don't know, uh, 10, 12 years. You know, certainly for a while. Um, and during that process, I became close with sister, Martha's sister, and, and, but, but as time went on and she moved to the UK, but in 2018 hall of fame, and I go over there and a week before I went over there, I got contacted by a gentleman who's doing a documentary on Owen and, and just through that whole process. And they came and picked me up at the hotel and I went and did a, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe a 90 minute interview session about it. Uh, but it was interesting all these years, how the different ebbs and flows I'll say of, 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 uh, the emotion, uh, of Owen. Um, yeah, you've got me so rattled, uh, Conrad. Uh, I, I guess we should in this. I apologize. Uh, a lot of people remember your scene that night. Yeah, of course you're there at the pay-per-view over the edge, um, to, uh, to be in a tag match and you're going to be teaming with Deborah to take on Nicole Bass and Val Venus. But after the tragedy happens, you've, you've got to do a promo and it's not a pre-tape it's live. And through teary eyes and you're, and you're choked up. You said, first off, Owen Hart, I'm praying for you, buddy. And yeah, the, we've got to keep the show going. Uh, sort of just take me back to that moment. I can't imagine being in this circumstance. Uh, so Conrad, the fell the world wrestling federation and all of us prior to today. I've never really said some of these things, I guess, publicly. Um, But this is a part of my story that I didn't process for so long. I only sort of took different bits and pieces. 
but but to 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 get into the 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 I guess you could say let's take you now to Kevin Kelly the event who I think is with uh, Jeff Jarrett and Deborah. Jeff and Deborah, I know your mind's probably on other things right now, but the question, of course, is, uh, you know, how are things going to go in this mixed tag team match uh, tonight? Well, if you want to talk about chances, i tell you one thing. My daddy should tell me one thing about chances. And he'd say, sweetie, De Deborah, now this shut up. Certainly the next great pay -per -view Let's talk about business. First off, Sunday, Owen Hart, I'm praying for you, buddy. Thank you. Damn it, Deborah, let's go. Owen. Was there any malice behind the gimmick of Owen Hart? You know, bringing the blue blaze back to life and doing it in a comedic way that we knew Owen would have been phenomenal. That was where we really, you know, fell in love so, with the character and the angle. So the night. The character and the angle. So the night. The character and the angle. So the night. The Boy, character in the angle. So the night he died. Boy, it's a bad day if the writers don't give you something good to do, isn't it? Yeah, if they don't like you, you could be in big trouble. You have to understand, Owen's walking a very thin line here. Because his contract states, like, you do what the promoter says or they're going to fire you. I wanted to write a story of Owen kind of falling in love with them. For two years, Russo wrote. All kinds of things for the Owen. WWF. And he said, you know, you want me to do this stunt, and I'm, you know, I kind of don't feel right about doing it. And I said, well, don't do it then. And he said, well, you know, I have to do it. Like, I can't get out of it now. I'm retired. Stay out of my business. That's hideous. That's oh, 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 hideous. That is hurt. My God, get an ambulance. He did drop me right out my head. I have this question. Hey, Russo. Did you write in my cousin Owen's death? And it goes down on Doc Henry. The free bird is grounded. Did you ask about his family? They were attacking Owen. Look at this. What the hell? That's a blue blazer. I told you. I told you that was Owen. Look at this. He's dead. He's my cousin. He's dead. Why? Because someone like you, who knows nothing about the technical. Owen Hart's got hell to pay. Put somebody you know, 90 feet but up. But the problem with that was that when Nick grabbed the harness, he hit the button. You know, I don't know when, where, how, or what. And it released it. But it's going to happen. If there was an issue with that, he would have came to me and said there was an issue because he did it before. When it comes to the crowd and the ladies and the crowd kids, rap bottom. Oh, God. I saw it. I dug it. He has no choice but to lay that smack down on himself. That repel was added by request. 